Every time my mind begs to be free of the turmoil it is in, I go for a walk in nature. Do you know what nature teaches me? The plants teach me that it takes time to grow and be happy, and the resultant happiness ages like fine wine. The trees encourage me to not lose hope, whispering words of comfort, letting me know that worrying is suffering twice. Seeing them shed their leaves in autumn makes me realize that every time something bad happens, something better is waiting out there. Life is never constant, just like the mountains with their ups and downs. The sea was once a small river. With faith and consistent efforts, I can achieve greatness. The ocean waves teach me that the world is not split into good or bad. We have both of them in us. Even if you are a calm person, it is okay to be angry and let it all out. The waves gently crashing at my feet gives me assurance that they will always be there for me. Most importantly, these waves fall down and rise back up again more powerful than before. This is how life on earth is completely magical. Until humans became curious and started depleting all its resources, we became selfish and tried to make earth perfect and beautiful. At first it was minuscule, just specks of human interventions and inventions here and there in the vastness of greenery. But before we knew it, the grey concrete buildings started taking over the lush greenness, gobbling it up unapologetically. We failed to acknowledge and accept how precious this planet is, and now our lives are at stake. Drops of rain, flakes of snow, sunlight peeking through the trees, bathing us in its warmth, all have started being taken for granted. All because of our unending greed for more and more. All because we saw our home planet as something that we could experiment with. Now. We are on the verge of waging wars for food and fresh oxygen. With each revolution we make around the sun, we keep getting closer and closer to losing our planet. Why? How did this happen? How could we let it come to these lengths? We cannot start again, but what we can do is make amends. We need to make it right, to go back to how it was before it started ruining us all. There is still time, and we must make use of this time because the earth does not give second chances. In all of this, where do we come in? Who are we? We are a group of enthusiastic students working to initiate a change for conserving our planet. We strive to make things less wrong so that one day, things may seem more alright than they are now. We dare to move. We dare to accept. We dare to change. And we dare you to do the same. On this torturous, peaceful, but inevitable journey of ours, we invite you. This is says who we are. Who we are. Who we are. The Biosphere Club VIP Chimney.